Hi everybody, so today I wanted to play with my Cricut Maker a little bit and I wanted to show you how to cut base wood using the Maker and the knife blade. I actually love cutting base wood, it is super easy and I think a lot of people shy away from it because they hear cutting wood and it's like oh that is intimidating. So for this you will need some Cricut base wood. They have this on the Craft Buddy store. You will also need your knife blade. So just to show you that is what the knife blade looks like. And you will also need your light grip and your strong grip mat. So the light grip mat will be for your calibration of your knife blade, which we will run through. Super, super simple. And your strong grip mat will be to actually hold your base wood. So the other thing you're going to need for this project is um, some vinyl. That's it. So it's a super, super simple project. Um, and let's jump into it. So the first thing we're going to do is calibrate our knife blade. So you need to make sure that you have the correct machine selection and you will go to your hamburger menu and you will say calibration. As you can see you've got calibration for your rotary blade, your knife blade and your print then cut. So today we're going to be doing knife blade. So it says to insert the knife blade so let's just see Okay, so what you're going to do is, as you can see on the knife blade, can you see that? So just to just to fill you in before we go any further, I do only have one hand that's painted because I was doing nails with my daughter, so I got bored halfway. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed I'm not really a nails kind of person, just because, I mean, I've got better things to do than paint my nails. So if you have a look at your blade, you will see that one side is open and one side has a closed cover. So what you're going to do is you're going to open your clamp, remove your fine point blade, and the part that's open you're actually going to oopsie, take the cap off, make sure your cap is off, don't be like me, and you're going to insert it so the part that's open is against the machine. You're then going to close your clamp, and we then need a piece of plain copy paper. Okay, so this is where you're going to use your light grip mat. Okay, we've just got a piece of plain white paper, copy paper. And we're going to insert that into our machine. And then we're going to say continue. cut calibration sheet screen and then insert it. Okay, now on the screen it says after you unload your mat, count down from the top and select the group of lines that overlap the most. So it gives us an example of a good overlap and a bad overlap. As you can see the bad overlap, it's not uh, meeting. So what we do is we unload it and then let's see if I can get this in a picture for you. Mm, yeah, so you can slightly see it there. There we are. So I would say line number four 
Actually, I would say line number six. Line number one, two, three, four, five, six. Line number six is actually perfect. Look at that. You can't even see the overlap. Can you see that? There we are. Line number six. Second one from the bottom. That is actually perfect. So on our screen, we're now going to select number six and say continue. And just like that, your calibration is complete. And we're now going to do the fun part. So for this part, you will need your strong grip mat. Okay, so for this project, I found it on Zelda's profile. So if we search for Zelda from our homepage, uh, there we have Zelda Fundenberg. Go give her a follow. She has some amazing projects. So I've already made this project, full disclaimer, and I absolutely love it. Um, you may have seen it shared on the Craft Buddies group or on the Cricut group. And there we are, make a blade pen holder insert. So let's say make it. And we're going to have it on mat for any material. And as you can see, we need 10 centimeters of base wood. So I can, I've actually got a piece that I've already cut out. So I'm just going to measure. Nope, that's not going to be good. So we'll do it on that side, the full sheet side. So as with any material, you're going to apply it. If your mat is brand new, I personally found that I didn't need to apply any uh, tape or anything. Just give it a good roll. And if you have a look at your maker, you'll see it's got these little, um, I don't even know what they're called. But what you're going to do is you're going to move them all to the one side. If you don't do that, you are going to get um, indentations on your wood. We're going to insert that. And we say continue. And the material we're going to use, so if you say browse all materials, any material that has the little C next to it, that means that it is a Cricut material. So as long as you're using the Cricut brand, then this should be the perfect setting for it. So we are using base wood. So I already had um, that here. So there's the base wood. We're going to use default pressure. And we are going to go. passes so we're just going to check to see if it has cut through if it has we're obviously going to stop the cut so what you can do is you can just stab one of your uh, okay so I'm still feeling a little bit of um, resistance here yeah there's still some resistance here so we're going to let it go for longer As you can see, it has started lifting, so I'm actually going to take this out. 
and I think we ended on 10 passes yeah you see that's actually perfect so I love to keep these little balls what do you call them little circles I mean look how cute that is such a little bit of effort that is super cute and that took 10 passes and as you can see it did scratch my mat a bit but that is completely fine so to remove you can do it the same way you would your other materials you obviously don't want to bend or break your base so base wood is kind of soft oopsie it's not soft soft if that makes sense but it is a soft wood um, I think your heavy chipboard would be best for sturdier things. I don't know, basswood's even got like a weird feel to it. So let's just stick that there for a second on that cover. Okay, now we're back to our light grip mat and we're going to change back to our fine point blade. Make sure it's got nothing on it, which this one does, because I've been doing a lot of work with it. Okay. And for the next mat, we're going to change this to uh, normal vinyl. Mm. Okay, we're going to insert that. And say go. So as always we test to make sure that it is cut through, which it has. And we can now remove this and put it all together. Okay, so we're going to put this together now. I just wanted to show you, like I said, I have made this project before. So for whatever reason, I'm keeping all the circles. I actually, I know exactly why I'm keeping them. I have a plan. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think you need to throw away everything, you know. Um, there's always a use for something. And these are such perfect little circles. Look at that. So the first thing we're going to do is weed our vinyl, which is super simple. Here we are. Okay, so for this we will need some wood glue. Um, I have some in a container. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some wood glue onto our base wood. And we're going to, oopsie, well we've got to make sure it's the right way, there we are. We're going to stick this together. So I like to use a peg. So again I like my bamboo pegs. You can just hold it together with that. And let that dry. Okay, while that's drying, we're going to get our vinyl ready. So I guess you could use um, 
you could use iron on if you wanted and there's also another technique you can use and I'm not going to reveal that just yet because I think that's going to be one of our videos so remember the rolling method I do this for all my vinyl even if it's an easy vinyl to weed okay now we're going to stick that on And just like that, you have a super cute holder for your tools, your blades fit into it, it fits into your machine, I don't know why these ones don't fit, but my one does, uh, there we are, so it fits in, you can also use it for your pens, let me just show you where I've got mine, so there we are, there you have mine, Everything fits beautifully. I don't know why this guy's like just hanging out there. But anyway. And that is it. A super, super simple project. So let me know if you are making anything with basswood. If you'd like to. If you've tried it. I'd love to see some projects. Don't forget to share them on the Craft Buddies page. And I hope to see you all soon. Thanks for watching.